right, here's a quick one here. Um, I, I just started uh, doing this, so, you know, this whole miniature gaming stuff's still kind of new to me, but several of you asked me how I did this, making craters um, out of styrofoam. Anyway, all I did was I took a drill bit, or you can cut holes, depends on, you know. Anyway, for me, it was easier just to take the drill bit and uh, just randomly cut holes in my styrofoam. And then what I did is I take and I use expandable razor knives, and there's two different sizes that I use. I use a small one and a, and a large one, but any of them will work. But anyway, what I did is I just choked up on the blade and I cut 45 degree angle around the uh, the hole. So what I did is I just cut down, snap it out. Cut down, snap it out, and just go all the way around to snap it out and go as deep as you want. You wanna go at least a couple inches deep to get down there to make the craters look pretty good size. Anyway, just go all the way around the craters and you can run these craters overlap or whatever. And then, once you get the circle completely done, like I said, this is just messy stuff so anyway um and then what i did is i i shaved down just under where the craters if you look i'd shaved down and i popped it out just under where the uh, the debris from the crater is going to uh, be figured it was a lot easier for me to show you than try to explain it to you in, in text anyway and just, just pop that stuff out and you can see that leaves a, a rigid line and then what I started doing is with the back of my blade the flat side is to scrape down just scrape down the, the sides of these and that will give you the texture like I said this is messy stuff so don't do this inside your wife's living room or your mom's kitchen or something anyway but uh and again this is i'm sure there's other ways to do it cleaner ways to do it but this is just quick for trying to and then you can do is just scrape the top down and what i did is i went in the inside of the crater and uh flattened it out a little bit and again that will give you Sorry, that will give you the craters that I've done here. Like I said, this is completely accidental for me, so um, I'm usually doing larger scale stuff. But and then you you can go back with your sandpaper and shape up your 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 land. You can add some trenches through there. Um, you can add a wall, whatever. Anyway, but. Uh, just go around the trenches, or the uh, the bunkers. Oh, what am I saying? I'm sorry. I'm tired. I just woke up. But you can add bunkers. You can add trenches through there. Um, you know, whatever. Again, just snap that stuff out all the way up to where you want your. Just snap it out. there and you can get a general crater field there anyway but that's just how I do it I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to do it that are cleaner but this is the quickest and, and if, you, if you need a lot of material and a lot of crater stuff or just something different but uh anyway but that that's that's what I got so uh, for you guys who uh, and you could take that smaller blade and you can make them bowl shaped you can fill them with resin to to simulate stagnant water and again you can you can do the outsides of the crater and then come back and do the insides of the crater <clears throat> there you go anyway that's my quick little crater field like I said you'll sand all this down and again you'll coat it with whatever uh, dirt, whatever, your trenches, you can run trenches through there. I'm doing a wall on either side. So anyway, but that that's what I got. Any questions or any tips, advice, like I said, I'm only days into this miniature 
wargaming stuff and if you can see I'm just now trying to get the hang of it so uh, anyway I'm always 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 up for uh, tips and, and uh, whatever so anyway thanks guys